This is Andy Bryce of Easy Data Transform and I'm going to show you how you can easily do a fuzzy lookup. So here we have a simple data set with some details about various people including their state. However you'll notice that some of the states are not correctly spelt. And here we have the states with the correct spellings and their initials. So we want to do a fuzzy lookup from the original data into the state names. We'll drag the two data sets on. So Easy Data Transforms correctly worked out that they're CSV files with comma delimiters. It's important here that the data set we are looking up in must be at the bottom and the other data set is at the top. Let's select them both and choose a lookup transform. And we want to look up the state in the top data set. And we want our lookup not to be case sensitive. So here you can see we've matched 13 out of the 20 rows of data. Let's try and do a bit better using fuzzy match. So here we're looking for a match where the state in the top data set is 80% the same as the state in the bottom data set. And here we can see we've matched Massachusetts even though there's a misspelling. But we haven't matched Dakota because it needs to be either North Dakota or South Dakota. So let's reduce the closeness required for the match. Let's try 50%. And now we can see we've matched all the states. For Dakota it could have put North Dakota or South Dakota. Currently our setting is to use the first best match and North Dakota is higher in the alphabetical list. If we change it to all the best matches then it will show North Dakota and South Dakota. We can also show all matches. So this is every match that's 50% or better. So for Dakota it's showing both North Dakota and South Dakota and for Arkansas, it's showing Arkansas and Kansas. And if we change this to look at the actual state rather than the initials, we can see why. Because Kansas is a 50% or better match to Arkansas. Let's go back to best match. If we increase the closeness threshold so we get a few misses, we can decide what to do for those misses. So currently it says use a no match value, so we can type this in. And here we can see no match is shown. Or we can leave the value as it was. So here we can see Dakota stays as Dakota. Let's go back to the initial. The info tab gives them some information about the misses. Also we can see that it's processing this very small example in less than a hundredth of a second. Easy Data Transform can easily handle millions of rows. We're done with this simple example so let's output our data. We'll do it in CSV format but we could choose Excel or other formats. And so we've output a CSV file. And here we can see it's got the state initials as an extra column. Easy Data Transform is available for Windows and Mac. You can download a fully functional free trial from our website. It only takes a few seconds and you don't even have to give us your email address.